How is it going everybody? It is JT coming out with you with another Retro Bowl episode. Retro Bowl Tuesdays every Tuesday. You already know I'm going to do it every Tuesday even if I'm on a cruise right now. Obviously not right now, but like right now I'm on a cruise in the middle of the ocean. But like not right now, but like right now. I'm in two places at once. I clone myself. No, um... Today we're playing Retro Bowl again, obviously. Uh, continuing this series I have going, let's switch over to the screen share. Today we're playing both LA teams, so that's kind of exciting. Um, we are currently in first place in our really weird division where we have both Rams teams and the Chargers in our division. So that's something. Um, yeah, hopefully we can get some more dubs today. Hopefully we can do that. Also. This is now one of my favorite jerseys I own. Obviously not my favorite over Max Crosby, but if there was a Crosby color rush, other than the, the fake one I have that I got from that <laughs> retweet thing I did, um, that would be my favorite, but I don't know. These jerseys are probably one of my probably my favorite jerseys in the league. They're just so clean. Honestly, we should definitely get like chrome helmets to go with them or something. Keep the white pants, no silver pants, white pants, all white, silver numbers, black outline on the numbers with the chrome helmet. That would be sick. Um, but you know, whatever. Anyway, let's play some Retro Bowl. Still in dynamic because, um, it's really, really hard on extreme. Um, like to the point where it's stupid hard and I, and I can't win. Like it's almost impossible for me to win. So I'm just going to keep it on dynamic for now and see how it goes. Um, but yeah. All right. Let's do the away. I mean, I could do the, let's do these. Oh, okay. This was actually originally the Rams, which is even funnier that, again, like last episode, if you remember, um, I believe it was the Seahawks that were a week too early. So, like, the game had us playing the Seahawks at almost the right time, and same thing with the Rams, but whatever. Anyway, let's get going. Let's get playing. Um, sweet. All right, let's do this. Defense already with the stop. Off to a good start already. Um, yes, yeah, so when I actually start streaming games... Go, 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 catch that. No, come on. Are you kidding me? Damn it. Oh, well. Um, we can recover. It'll be fine. Um, but when it comes to starting the season, this is layout right here is on OBS and I downloaded Streamlabs and played around with it the other night. I tweeted it out. Um, so if you saw that, you know, and whatever. But I'm gonna be using Streamlabs so I'll have like animations come up when you, if whenever I get, you know, ability to get donations or whatever and stuff like that. Um, it's gonna look a lot nicer. I mean, I don't hate this setup. It just doesn't look super nice. Um, and I wanted to have a nice looking thing for you guys. I wanna have a nice chat pop up. It's very hard to do it on OBS, but Streamlabs lets you do it very nicely, very cleanly. Um, I added some of the Raider cast, you know, vibes to it, but going over to Streamlabs, but with this game, earlier today I tried recording uh, the video, and this game was literally, it was so slow. It was on like 10 frames, and we're playing on 20 frames right now, so it's super slow. But it was even slower than this, and it was like impossible to play. And it was just a, a really bad looking uh, in terms of like viewership. So I decided to not use Streamlabs to record Retro Bowl series. I'll probably won't use it for any other time just because it takes too much out of my computer. So I'll be using this um, OBS for Retro Bowl series, and then everything else will be Streamlabs every video um, and stuff like that. Because I got some nice transition things. Um, and there's a lot more things to play around with in terms of like making it look like a nice stream. So I definitely want to uh, use the Streamlabs for that. To give you guys a nice looking experience um, for when I do full time, more full time streaming than I do right now. But yeah, getting into it. Um, and as mentioned earlier, I'm on a cruise right now. Well, next week, technically, like I, like I was making the joke. Or, um, but 
I will be doing my Raider Cast preseason show recording on either Friday night or Saturday. Uh, I think I talked about this in one of my news videos I posted uh, either yesterday or today's what? Wednesday? Yeah. Yesterday or Monday, whichever the days. I may have talked about it during Retro Bowl too, but I'm going to keep talking about it. Um, so that means that. I mean, I'll probably explain it in the preseason show. Um, I don't think I'll record this Sunday the 14th because I'll be getting home that day, so I might be able to do it. If not, I'll just do it Monday. Um, so look for that. Uh, my RaiderCast episode will be a lot shorter on the Friday of next week than it usually is because I'm doing just a short video for that. I think. I It's not going to be super long, but... Maybe it will be. I mean, it might be normal length, normal 20 minute ish, uh, 15 minute ish length. I haven't really figured out what I'm doing for tomorrow, though. I have a fun video plan. Well, okay, not tomorrow. Today's Tuesday of next week. Whatever. It's really weird talking to you guys in the future, but in the past. So, I'm just going to talk about the game. Stop talking about it now. Because then it's just going to get really confusing with how, when you guys are watching, you're like, what is he talking about? So, I'm just going to stop talking about the future. And focus on the now. As Master Ugwe once said, uh, tomorrow, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why they call it the present. And that is words to live by. Um, but I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope the Hall of Fame game was good. Uh, hopefully we have no more injuries. Because... That would suck. Nice touchdown! That was a scary one. A Fuka me. Oh, let's go! A Fuka me with a touchdown! Alright, one point conversion. Let's get some great clap up in here. Dun, dun, bah, dun, 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 dun. Um, dun. I'm really excited for this season. I mean, I'm always excited, even the past few seasons, which have been much more. I mean, this is a pretty big question mark season because it's brand new coaching, brand a brand new a lot. But there's so many new things that are really, really good, nice things, new things that. It's hard to not be super excited. Um, Devontae Adams is going to be so awesome to watch with Hunter Renfro. Like, I just keep thinking about it, and it gets me so hyped just to watch. Like, I cannot wait to watch these games. Um, okay, not win or lose. I was about to say win or lose, but Jesse wins. I'm just really excited. Um, people, the only, the only thing I'm really, really, really worried about it's obviously the O-line and the defensive tackles. It's the only thing that's stopping us from having a really, really good team. And right now, the defensive tackle part is kind of fixable. If we just get an Adamican Sue, which I don't understand why we're not doing, we're probably going to wait to see how the preseason shakes out with, like, how they look. Or at least one or two games until we sign him. Or maybe he's just signing somewhere else, and he just hasn't decided yet. Or maybe he's retiring. Who knows? He's pretty old. Um... But you know, I, I, if we had Nadamakan Sue on that line, it doesn't matter what the other defensive tackles are. Him being starting defensive tackle with Chandler Jones and Max Crosby and Bilal Nichols and the, our linebacker core as Denzel Perryman, an established veteran who just got his first Pro Bowl, coming out of a 150 tackle season. You have Divine Diablo having a, a, a great rookie season as a third or fourth round pick. We have Jayon Brown coming from the Titans, who just had a very injured past couple seasons, but played exceptionally well on the Titans. Uh, you have Darian Butler, who looks exceptional right now in camp. You have even Kenny Young, who's a very solid just backup linebacker. You have the very young, aggressive, um, you know, got that dog in him cornerback, you know, group. You have Anthony Averett, who showed up last season, even though. We have some like temper your things because he's not really a starter. He's a starter. He's gonna show he's a starter. You have a Meek Robertson who's short, but it doesn't matter because he's like I'm gonna punch you in the face 
uh, you have Nate Hobbs, who's just a beast. He can play everywhere. He's going to be thrown all over the place. Um, I'm probably going to dive forward because they might catch up to me. Oh, I can't. It's too far away. Uh, you have uh, uh, um, Rocky Sin. Come on now. He's so good. The Colts were like, mm, do we give up Rocky Sin for Nengakwe? They were not going to trade for Nengakwe if it meant giving up for Rocky Sin. They gave up at the last second. So like, mm, we kind of need the line help. More than the corner help. Rocky Sin is going to be a beast. I'm telling you that right now. He's going to be so damn good. That corner core is so young and so talented and so hungry to prove themselves that they can be a good group. And then you have the, the DBs, the safeties behind them. You have Trayvon Marig, who is just, a, as the Raiders fans know, a young stud who just needs to get better ball skills, and that's it. He looked really good in his rookie year. You have Darar Harmon, who's old, but it doesn't matter. He's still the closer from years ago. He'll still get you picks. And honestly, if you have that combined with Jonathan Abrams' ability to just... He's calmed down so much in camp. It's so good to see. I don't know. I, today, I was just really thinking about football, especially with football coming... Well, football. Well, football coming up in September, but... Right now, football is coming tomorrow <laughs> for me. Um, me of the past. Um, but just thinking about it is just so exciting. You're just seeing the rookies and them play. I'm probably going to talk about it. Maybe I'll make a... Yeah. I'm going to be talking about it probably at some point this week. But I'm just really excited. Well, last week. You know, once again, I guess I'm talking about the past. All right, this game is going really good, actually. We got that last second massive touchdown. I haven't been talking about this game. I've just been ranting and raving. Sorry about that, but it's really fun to rant and rave. Um, here we go. Here we go. This is going to be another touchdown. I just got to juke out this tackle. And it can be a touchdown. Juked out the touch tackle. That's a touchdown. Oh, might have to juke out a second tackle. Watch this, watch this, watch this. And juke. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. It's not going to be a touchdown now. Oh, he broke the tackle. Oh, I can't break two tackles. Damn. Still 61 yards. And what do we call that? Big plays only. Big plays only, man. Big plays only. <sighs> uh, here we go. He's going to be wide open right here. And he's going to be able to catch the ball. Oh, I was going to see if we could break the tackles. That's okay. That's still a big play. Who's going to get this? Oh, oh, I'm going to do a rushing play with my quarterback right here. And that's not a good look. Um, Yeah, I could do it. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it because <laughs> that did not work at all. Damn, I'm still going to I'm going to do it again. Because I know if, if I have to go down to fourth in goal, I can get it in with a pass, so. Uh, let's see if we can change it. Oh, I like that even less. Oh, I hit the wrong button. No. Go, go, go. No, I hit the wrong button. I could have gotten a touchdown. <gasps> what is wrong with me? No. The travesty. Absolute travesty. Alright, let's see if I can do it. I'm wasting time right now. Oh, this is scary. I'm pressing the right buttons this time. No! Oh, I was so close. I just needed like another yard before I could lunge forward. Alright. Fourth and goal. Can we make it? I mean, we're up by a score, so it's okay if we don't make it. I mean, I'd much rather make it. Oh. They're leaving the tight end wide open. Those idiots. They should know they should never do a full blitz. When I have a tight end that's as beastly as H. Airy or Harry. I think his actual name's Harry. I think I named him Harry Airy, which is a pretty suck ass name. Uh, dope. Up by two scores, baby. Let's go. Uns as you can see, it's the blue of the Rams, not the blue of the Chargers in their home stadium. Ooh, 
interception. Nice job, Herbie. Here we go. Air and out. Get that ball. Get that ball. Nice. This is going to be a touchdown. You just got to run. Hit the ground running. Hit the ground running. It's going to be a touchdown. Boom. Let's go. Touchdown, baby. That's a touchdown. By Fuka me again. <sighs> Alright. Let's get this one point conversion now. If I had more, I mean, I have okay musical ability, like I can play percussion and stuff like that, um, but if I was able to use, like, I might try to make a remix of this song because it is a bop. Oh, what the heck, man? That was terribly thrown ball, so that's kind of my fault. All right, let's see if we can get a touchdown. Hit as I threw. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. Oh, my God. What a throw. That was perfect. Holy. That's going to be another touchdown. That's going to be a, a big W. Our defense stepped the hell up this game. Let's go. Let's get it. That's freaking awesome. I mean, there's no way there's it's not a touchdown, right? Right? Yeah, we're good. They're not even close since the 20-yard line. Oh, you know who you guys should follow or subscribe to on YouTube or watch on YouTube? A guy called... NFL season simulation or something like that if you look up just NFL season simulation you'll find him he does it on Madden I think it's probably it's obviously 22 because 23 is not but he uses the 23 rosters and he's playing through every single game using just like the EA simulation technology whatever um, also that was a beautiful throw he got hit as he threw and still put it in the perfect spot for the guy to go Ooh, right in the bed basket right in the bread basket all right, um, but go see, check him out. He has the Raiders going 1-2-1 one, and one to start the season in the first four weeks, um, which is very interesting. We win against the Chargers, lose against the Cardinals and Titans. Um, but, yeah, I, I definitely go check him out. Um, defend that player, man. He's doing all he can. <laughs> He's doing all he can. That was an unintentional pun that just worked perfectly. Um... Oh my, <gasps> I'm a bitch, got 244 yards. Bruh, that's crazy. And he still has more speed. Dude, he's already a five-star player, and he still has more catching and strength to go. This dude's insane. And I guess kick accuracy. Um, but yeah, go check him out. It's fun to watch. Um... Even if it's not going the greatest for the Raiders right now. I'm going to use my rush. Um, but it's almost like watching football again. Like just hearing like... Because the guy does a great job at doing like the announcing for the game. Like he he's definitely like trying to practice to do announcing. Or just really loves the like the art of, a, of sports announcing. And he does a great job at just talking about the game and like as if he's an actual like announcer and it's crazy like he just sounds so professional and it's just for madden simulation so i definitely go suggest you guys subscribe to him um it's really cool content it's definitely a lot of effort um i mean like it's just like running the game but he still has to sit there and watch the entire game and and he posts his own like like NFL style highlight videos where he just posts like the big plays and stuff like that. So that takes a lot of effort too. So that's you know big props to him. Like that's a huge undertaking to to 
do announcing for all, like, how was it, 16, 17 games times, um, what, 32 teams? So, uh, I can't think of the number right now. Hey Siri, what's 17 times 32? 544 games. I think. I think that's the math. But, or is it less than that? I don't know. But you get the gist. Um, he does all those games by himself, it seems like. He, he records them. He does the announcements. Oh, shit. Um, spin interception. He does the announcements for it. He does the editing for it. He does the streams, which take an hour per game. So it's a lot of time and effort to go into that. And definitely go check him out. Definitely show him some love. It's well deserved for him. Don't know that I might. I'll put it in the description once I found it for this video. So go to the description, click on it, check out his videos. Definitely subscribe, or at least like the videos. I'm pretty much just watching the Raiders ones right now, but he's only in week five right now. Um, but I'll probably end up watching, you know, a good amount of the other games too, just to see how they go. Because I just, like listening to him is just so nice. Like he just sounds so professional. Anyway, done gushing over him. Only up down by three, so that's really good, especially after interception. Um, let's just air it downfield again. So everyone's on this side. This is literally just one on one coverage over here. Like the safety has is not helping his corner at all. Like at all. Like he has no help. If he misses this, I was gonna say if he missed that tackle, that was a touchdown. But what was that safety doing? He was like following the guy that was like double teamed already. Idiot. That's something Jonathan Abram would do. <laughs> There we go. It's going to be a perfect throw. Just had to come back for it just a little bit. I had to pull up just a little bit, but still secured it. Um. Ooh. Oh my god. That was nasty. That was disgusting. Oh, I couldn't dodge the extra thing. All right. Now it's time for the QB rush. Now it's time for the QB rush. We can do it. Sorry. That's a touchdown. Oh, no. Alright. Going really good so far. Um, so hell yeah for that. Alright, if you made it this far... I put that capital N. That's all stupid. That's funny. Los Angeles R on a 17. That's a touchdown. Um, if you guys made it this far in the video, comment down below. Who is your favorite player on the Raiders right now? And give me a reason why. When I come back from the cruise, I'm going to read through all of them. Don't worry. Um, I'll like them. I'll respond to them if I think it warrants a response. But who's your... It can be any time, any time period. It could be right now. Like, obviously mine, probably all the time, is Max Crosby. Um, just because I've, I'm a pretty young fan. <laughs> um, you know, obviously it's like Charles Woods and stuff like that. But, any era, so it could be like Ken Stabler, it could be Ted Hendricks, it could be Tim Brown, it could be uh, Darren McFadden, it could be any of those guys. Anyone from any era of Raiders football, as long as they're a Raider, at some point... That can be your favorite player. Let me know down in the comments. Talk to me down there. Let me know. When I come back from the cruise, I'll look at them. Uh, I'll definitely like them at least. Um, I'll respond if I, you know, obviously if they weren't a response, for, like if I like want to interact more, you know. But definitely let me know. Favorite Raider of all time. I'd love to know. Um, 
because mine is Max Crosby, baby. He's going to be Raider for life, too. Um, I mean, I can't say that because he could, like, I'm sure the Broncos fans were like, oh, Von Miller's a, a, you know, a Bronco for life, but stuff happens as you, they get older, but he's at least going to be a Raider for the majority of his, like, prime, um, which is right now. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he's just, he's he loves being a Raider, stuff like that. His personality is great, you know. Uh, I've talked to him, a, well, not really talked to him, but I've DM'd him a couple times. He just responded. He's a really nice guy. Um, all around good dude. I mean, obviously, I love Devontae Adams now. You got Divine Diablo, too. Um, and I was, there's a lot of players on the team that I just, uh, even if they're not good, are like super good. Like, uh, Abram, I love Abram. I just don't like the way he plays. Um, so, like, I root for him to succeed, but it's just sometimes it's very hard to root for him to succeed. Okay, he's not playing well. Oh, he's going wide open. Get that, get that, get that. Run, run, run. No. Ugh. I needed that touchdown. I should have went for the field goal, damn it. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah. Like, there's, like, on everyone on the team, there's, like, no player that I'm like, ugh, I can't believe he's a Raider. Like, ugh. Outside of, I mean, outside of playing, like obviously those players, I'm like, ugh, he's a raider. Um, but in terms of like personality, there's no like divas or like anyone that's like not a fun person to root for. You know what I mean? Like Abram, since he's come here, hasn't been a very great, good player. It hasn't been the first round talent we wanted him to be. But he's had the personality, he's had the drive to even, like, he's happy to represent the Silver and Black. He's not, he doesn't hate the organization, he tries his best, and it's, I mean, obviously his best isn't the best, so, definitely hurts in that way, but, can't hate a man for doing his best, and still repping the organization with, uh, pride. Because, at the end of the day, pride and poise is one of the pillars of the Al Davis mantras and there's a lot of players on the team that definitely have that pride and poise just not much of the just win baby mentality they have the pride and poise they're proud to be Raiders they do their best but they just don't have the will or dr not necessarily will to win but they don't exactly have the ability to <laughs> win <laughs> uh And that's better to be a catch. Diving catch. Oh, it doesn't even need to be a diving catch. He just catches it in stride at the bottom of his feet. And he misses, dodges the tackle. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. That's hype, man. All right, can you dodge this tackle, too? Shoot. Oh, shit. I did it again. Too early. Stiff arm. No. Damn it. 46-yard gain, baby. That was still an awesome catch. And he dodged the initial tackle. Whoa. What the? What is going on to my... <laughs> What the hell just happened? <laughs> it went down to one frame. Like, how is that possible? Like, this is a freaking pixel game, and my computer is still dying right now. And I and now I'd be like, oh, it's because you're recording at the same time. No, I tried to play it with nothing else running in the background. I made sure everything was closed, everything wasn't running, nothing else was running, and it still ran the same exact way. So it's not even like... It's because it's like it's recording, which would make sense, which I would understand. No, it's just how it runs on my computer, which is insane because it's a freaking app. It can run on my phone, but I guess my iPhone X, I think it is, can run better. This game better than my laptop, which I guess isn't surprising. It's a pretty shitty laptop, but my school is providing me with a laptop as I'm going into digital media so that's saving grace in terms of that so then I'll be able to actually have like very much smoother running things on my as it can run my friend has it because I just transferred to the school uh, my friend my friends who's or he goes there has it and he can run like Rocket League on it and still like you know play, do discord and Skype or whatever so it's definitely a pretty powerful computer um, 
I mean, obviously it's not necessarily free. I'm paying tuition for it, but you get the gist. Um, caught. Steph Farm, baby. I love this. I love the tight ends. The tight ends are just so fun because they're just behemoths. They just break all the tackles. They do all the stiff arms. Like, it takes so many people to take them down. Right there, I could have kept going, but I messed up the, the, the dodge. So, I didn't end up going super well. But... I just realized we're losing. Shit. Damn it. What the hell? I just realized we're losing really bad. I mean, we're going to get a touchdown right here because that was a beautiful pass. As you can tell, I'm a singer. You know, that's just how I am. Diving. Touchdown. Let's go. Look at me again. Just a beast, as always. <sighs> All right. And it's good. Hoping and praying for a field goal at minimum. No, I'm not trying the outside kick. Shit. Game over. Still gonna go try for a touchdown, but that's our first loss in nine weeks. 10 weeks? I don't even remember the last time we lost a game. Damn. I kind of predicted like this actually to happen though, as we lose to the Rams. Um, pretty... It's just they have a, such a better team. Oh, I thought he was going to be able to break through that hole, but he's not quick enough. That's okay. Yeah, he's not good. Like, he gets owned all the time by the other team, so... That sucks. Alright, let's go for the long haul touchdown. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? You guys weren't fast enough. Their corners were really good. They kept up. That's okay. That's okay. L's happen sometimes, and you just gotta accept them. Get stronger! Come back with a- Oh my god, why did we lose so many fans over that? Dude, we were on a nine game win streak, what do you want from me, dude? Come on now. That's ridiculous. We're still in first place on division. And our, the fans are like, that's not good enough. We need better. Like, shut the fuck up, bro. Come on now. And the fans in this game are so annoying. I'm gonna defend them. Defend perfect. He did nothing wrong. He didn't hit Jack Doyle in the head. On purpose. Anyway, but whatever. Now, my... Okay, pause for a second. Now that we're on the topic of perfect. My 100% theory is that if perfect didn't get ejected for those 12 games, our defense would have been a little bit better and just enough better because he knew the defense. He he was he was the guy in control of the defense. So he and he was in that off defense before, so he knew it like the back of his hand. Like he had it for years and in, in since he. So he knew it. He knew where to put people, where to direct people, and he could tell people what to do on the play. When he went and when he was suspended, our defense I mean not like our, our defense was anything special or like gonna be like top ten. But I firmly believe that if he didn't get ejected our defense is that much better that we actually make the playoffs in 2019. Um, because that's just how... That's the slimmest of margins in terms of how good that defense was supposed to be. Perfect was supposed to be the leader of that defense. And because he was out after just four games for the Raiders, he wasn't allowed to actually show off that. So that's just my theory. Obviously, it doesn't matter now because Perfect was a, a shitty player. Uh, Gunther was a sh fucking awful defensive coordinator. Um, but 
I guess we're facing the Chargers again in week 15. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, but yes, that is, how does that work? The hell? How does that even work? I, what? Whatever, you know, whatever. Um, but that's the video. I'm on a cruise right now, so you you probably haven't seen me a lot on Twitter, and that's why. Maybe you did because maybe we got uh, the Wi-Fi package or whatever. But regardless, I can't obviously record videos there. So here's the Retro Bowl video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I will be doing more videos, more streams. Um, especially when I get back because that's when preseason is really ramping up. I believe NFL 100 is coming out, uh, top 100 players of 2021. So I'll be talking about that all the time. I'm sure I'll probably maybe even do like a live stream of that. Who knows? Um, but a lot of stuff coming up just a little over a month away from the first uh, games of the season. So excited. Preseason can't wait. More training camp videos, everything. So click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video because I'm going to be posting a lot more and a lot more consistently and just have a lot more fun on this YouTube channel. Um, love you guys. Love all the recent support. As you know, I am so appreciative of all the support I get. Um, I started from no followers on Twitter. I'm up to 2,000. I started with, obviously, like zero, zero subscribers. I'm now at 53 and just like two and a half months of two and a half months of consistent streaming and video uploading so i love you guys love you guys for the support um i hope you all have a wonderful week uh and i can't wait to stream with you guys again um much love peace out raider nation